Welcome back to New Orleans. I'm Amy K. Nelson for SB Nation. And today, right here joining me, is CBS College Basketball analyst Bill Raftery. Hello. Pleasure, Amy. How nice are to be with you. Yeah, thanks for coming. So, Kentucky I, Blue. I, oh my gosh, everyone keeps calling me out for this. I pulled a rookie <laughs> move. I didn't even think about it. And I was talking to the president of Louisville, and he said, that's not a really good color. So, anyway, let's get right down to it. Can you give me your best breakdown of this weekend's game? Wow. Uh, ultimately the winner, you mean, or just uh, the breakdown of the game? Well, let's start with the first game, Kentucky and right. Louisville. Everyone's talking about it. How do you sort of see this matchup? Uh, I think the big thing is if Louisville brings a lot of energy, which they normally do, uh, Kentucky match it. Uh, we know they're the most talented, maybe in the whole of the four teams. So uh, I just think they're going to be put in positions they are uncomfortable. Uh, they have a great way, Louisville, of challenging shots and turning you over and going on spurts. Uh, they also have spurts where they don't score, but hold you scoreless. And how does Kentucky handle that? And, and sometimes when you're an older team, you can cope. So it'll be interesting to see how Kentucky does cope with that. And I imagine you probably don't want to have to give picks since you're going to be calling well, the game. You know, I have no Doesn't idea matter. who's going to win. <laughs> I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't been right in years. So. Fair enough. Okay, so what about the second game? The second game, it seems like some people are even forgetting who's playing in it because mm -hmm. everyone's talking about Kentucky and Louisville. But it's Ohio State and Kansas. How do you view that matchup? Well, they're more traditional. Uh, you know, we talk about Louisville getting after you and scatter and very aggressive. Well, these two teams play hard. Uh, they're basically man-to-man -man teams, although uh, Bill Self junked it up against Carolina with a triangle and two. But it's one of those where which will will prevail. Okay. So, most important player of that matchup, would you say Sullinger? Uh, I, I, I think Sullinger inside, craft outside for Ohio State. And conversely, you know, Robinson's a great talent. So I think Taylor's play at the guard spot really comes into focus. Robinson or Sullinger, which one? Uh, well, it depends who's, who you're rooting for. They both, if I'm for Kansas, uh, Robinson better play well, and conversely, uh, Sullinger. Okay, so championship game. Do you have a feeling at all as Not to how really. that's going to go? I mean, I'm just down here to enjoy it and go with the punches, and uh, whoever wins, I'll say that's who I pick. You know? So what do you think about New Orleans? You've been here before, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. is there something that you particularly like to do when you come here? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's personal, though. I mean, Good restaurants, have a cocktail, wow, Bill, things like that. that. That's sort of it. <laughs> okay, so one thing that I think people always know you for is your trademark saying, which is onions, correct? Oh, I don't know. No? I mean, I, what's, what, 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 what's, what's something that. I don't know. It just, it just pops into my head, you know? Do people ask you about that all the time? Yeah, I think, so. you know, people will mention word and just holler it across the street or something and uh, get my attention. At first, I thought they were crazy. Uh, because it just came out a few times, but now it's sort of nice of people to say hello. Just finally wrapping this whole thing up, Anthony Davis's unibrow. Do you have thoughts on it? I was thinking of doing it myself. I didn't mean, think of the look. Might uh, draw some comments here and there. Hey, listen, everybody's got their own unique way. Uh, if I played that well, I would have some unique mannerisms myself. He's quite a talent. Or maybe have your own unibrow. Yeah, I don't know. I think at my age, it might look a little strange. <laughs> Not a good look. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. Appreciate and it. tune back to SB Nation for more stuff from New Orleans.